ask anyone who lives to give and they will tell you one of the best feelings in the world is serving and mentoring. I am joined right now by retired Army Sergeant, first class mentor and motivational speaker, Charlton Jefferson. And he's also a CEO, get this, of Entire LLC. We wanna thank you for stopping by WSCV today. Uh, thank you for having me. Absolutely, you know when I look at mentors, I look at them as a people who are game changers. So you are one of the game changers. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yes, yes, you taught at Windsor Forest High School, Junior ROTC, and so you have the experience working with young people, helping them strive. Exactly. Yes, yeah, so what actually inspired you to stay in the game as a changer? Well, it, it all came to me one day. Um, I was going through some treatment and I realized uh, our youth, there's a lot of complaints about our youth and I could easily add to the complaints or I could get up and do something myself about it. So I said, what better way to pour into our youth to make them better and also they are our future. So we do need to pour into them and make sure that they're in a position to be successful. Absolutely, lifting them. Tell us yeah. about your organization, Entire LLC. What does it stand for and what will young people get from your organization? So Entire LLC is, is actually an organization I made as sort of an investment opportunity. And what I'll do is um, I wrote some novels, I wrote some books, mm -hmm. and I do some public speaking. I charge a fee so I can take that money and invest it in the entrepreneurial spirits of the young people. So a lot of times they don't have a lot of you know credit history or they don't have people backing them monetarily. So I said, why not me be that person that can do that? Well, as we roll some video now, you also work with a single mothers, helping them raise their sons, and you call it Queens Raising Kings. Explain what we're seeing on the screen right now. So this is uh, some of the sessions I had. Um, normally, I'll try to find a building locally in Savannah that's easy for everybody to get to, find out what the fee is or if there's a fee, and host a mentoring session there. I'll have the young boys come in, and, and I also mentor young girls too, but it just seemed like for some reason or another, the young boys kind of flock to me and we have easy rapport. But um, I have a session coming up because after mentoring with the young boys for years, I realized that maybe I need to speak to some of the mothers as well because they can be with me all day, but then when they go home, it's kind of like a disconnect mm -hmm. between the mom and the son. So I said, I don't want to tell people how to raise their kids. I, I, I definitely don't want to do that, but I do want to give them some insight on some things that I've learned growing up and some things that I've taken from other men that have grown up with single moms as well. Mm -hmm. There is a backstory when you speak of single moms. You grew up after your parents uh, divorced in a single parent family. Yeah, I did, I did. And one of the things I learned is that I could see at times my mom was struggling with questions that I have and I asked and she would always tell me, okay, well, let me find some other resources or let me find some other avenues to help answer that. And I'm just doing the same thing. I just want to return the favor, do my little small part. Mm -hmm. I just wonder, how do you feel waking up every day? Does it do your heart good to know that you are making a difference? It, it does, and, and I tell people all the time, it's so not about me. It's, it's not about me, it's not about my ego, it's not about you know me getting the opportunity to be on the news. It's just about me doing my small little piece in order to make our youth better. So it, it does. It, and and let me say this too, it's, it's not easy. It's not always great days. So I, I just get up every morning, put forth the effort, and when I lay down at night, I know I'm doing something to make a change. I'm sure the young people appreciate you. Right now, we want to give you a look at when this event is happening. It's Queens Raising Kings, and it's September 14th, 10 a.m. until 11.30 a.m. at Georgia Southern University Armstrong Campus. Of course, that's right here in Savannah. The tickets are $25, and to learn more about this event, even to register, you can go to wsav.com slash Queens Raising Kings. And Charlton, I want to also let people know what you said to me just as you sat down here. <laughs> this this evening in the studio, you mentioned the fact that you'd like to get to a point where you don't have to charge for events yes. like this. That's my ultimate goal. If, if I can get to a position to where everything I do, mentoring, um, my lectures, speaking, I can do it for at no charge for anybody that wants to come, that's the plan. I'm working on that. And if anybody have any ideas or any uh, ways that they can help with that, feel free to let me know. <laughs> All right, we certainly appreciate you stopping Thank by. Thank you so much for having me. Listen, best to you and what you're doing and continue to be a light to our young people. Thank you, I will.